Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jeff and Ray from Achievement Hunter, and Ray, we are Hello. Doing, uh, this is in, uh, it's not the first DLC for Sleeping Dogs, but it's the first story-based DLC. It has achievements. It ha and at first to have achievements, and you and I are very excited about both of those things, yes, Sleeping Dogs are. and achievements, because we, uh, we're the dudes that like those things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so this is called Nightmare in North Point, came out, uh, conveniently on October 30th. Yeah. One it's, day, uh, Thanksgiving or something. uh, before Thanksgiving, yes. Good. And, uh, it's... Uh, weird, weird. Different. Would be how I would describe way. it in a great way. Very silly uh, start. I don't want to spoil any of the story. There's five achievements in here, Ray. Yep. Uh, all of which I have. You don't have. That makes me a better person. Brag right? about it. Uh, I am. I just did. Uh, 125 points. Uh, two of them are secret and story based, so I'm not going to mention those two because uh, they're just. I, I would that spoil would be a surprise. spoiler, and you don't yeah. want to do that to I don't, people. I don't want to spoil because it's fun and funny and cool, and uh, I would say it adds probably about. I don't know, four to five hours if you want to get all the achievements and complete all the gold medals. Mm -hmm. uh, the story itself is probably two hours at the max, maybe a little faster than that. How uh, how much was it? Uh, it was like 560 points, I think. So that's like six, six seven yen dollars. Or fucking I, I don't know what it is in yen. Rupees or something. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's like seven bucks, I think. It's uh, yeah, it's 2,348 rupees. What is I that believe. pesos for my people? Uh, and for your people, that would be uh, carry the one. Uh, that would be at least. You know what? Don't even say a number because I can't afford it. Okay, that's a good point. Uh, you cut me off there. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but let's go through uh, and talk it. about the uh, different. Uh, achieve amounts. First one you're gonna get, Ray, is gonna be Hell Money. 25 gamer score, find all the money shrines. There are 10 money shrines. We in may the game. have done a video on this already. We've already done a video. If uh, I was a smart man, I would do a boop, and then there would be an annotation right there. Are you gonna do that? Uh, maybe. Boop. <laughs> if I remember to. Boop. There it goes. It's gone. It's gone. And uh, there's ten of those. They're pretty easy to find. And they're uh, all in North Point. Yeah. Obviously, you're not gonna drive all over the place. Yeah, you can drive all over the, the gaff if you want to. Oh, you can. Uh, I thought that it would block it, but everything takes place in North Point, and there's really no reason to go anywhere else. Oh, okay. So unless you just want to watch uh, citizens of uh, Hong Kong with creepy blue glowy yeah. eyes. Yeah. Well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and then uh, the next one is Ghosts and Stuff for 20 Gamer Score, <laughs> which funny. is to complete all secondary content. Secondary content is, uh, well, there's, like, these demon doors that open up you have to shut, then mm -hmm. there's certain kinds of demons you have to kill, and then, like, there'll be like civilians you have to help. Oh, okay. that are, like, oh so, like, the events. And yeah, the they're, they're exactly the events. Gotcha. And there's not many of them at all. I was done with them, but I think there might be, God, I don't want to say, like, seven or eight, okay. if that many. Uh, it it goes really fast, yeah. And then uh, the big one, Cursed Gold, 15 Gamer Score, Achieve 5 Gold Awards. There are only five different ones that you can do. Uh, they are to kill 200 of the n name of the monsters that I can't pronounce. All right. Are they blue or purple? Uh, they're just, like, whatever. Okay. Uh, nice. Then uh, um, There's uh, all the collectibles? Yeah, there's get all the collectibles. There's kill 20 of the demon whose name I can't pronounce. Yes. Okay. Then there's another one to kill... 15 of said demon with a bamboo sword. Okay. And then uh, the last one is to avoid 100 zombie bites. Is it like a quick time thing? Yeah, it's like, you know how when you counter? Oh, uh, yeah. They will they have like three different attacks that they'll throw at you, mm -hmm. and one of them they'll try to bite your neck, and if you just counter at that moment, uh, you'll do that. The whole the meat of this thing is... The meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes of this is cursed gold. And uh, it's th there's some good information I can give you. Like in the, in the game itself... If you if there's a good like grinding point in the game, you can go back and replay that mission. Cannot do that in here. Yeah. Once you've completed it, it's done. You can drive around the city like an asshole. Like when I finished, would you I had, drive around in the gaff? Uh, all over the gaff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when uh, when I finished the story, I had about 120 kills, and so I had to get another 80. Yeah. And uh, you can do you. that. You can do that. But they'll appear. The zombies will appear in groups of four or five. And so you'd have to go and kill four dudes and then drive around and look for and four more dudes to kill. Or save and quit. Yeah, and there's like seven or eight places they spawn, but it takes a while. And so uh, don't do it that way. When I was telling you earlier that there's the uh, demon doors you can you have to close. Yeah. What you do is you like throw dead bodies into the demon doors until they I think you throw three in there and then it turns off. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do that, they they spawn infinitely. Okay. So I would so grind uh, it early. Just grind the shit out of it. As a matter of fact, on the final boss fight. Uh, you can grind almost everything you need right there. Oh, you can, awesome. There's a demon door to close. There's also two uh, two iterations of that special 
uh, zombie, zombie I was telling you about, or the special monster that you have to kill 15 and then 20. Uh, and there's bamboo sword. So you could just relay. And the bamboo sword breaks. Like the, bamboo, like the bamboo sword uh, will break. That'll also spawn, like, you'll be driving around, and anytime, this is, if you wait to do it after the story mode's over, when you're driving around, either you'll see four or five enemies appear, like in a clump, or you'll yeah. see one enemy appear. Uh, that one enemy, if you go up to it, it's just a bamboo sword on the ground, and as soon as you pick it up, that zombie will appear and you can kill him. Oh, okay. So it's pretty easy to do. That one is probably a lot easier to do post-game uh, than uh, killing the 200 kill dudes. 20, yeah. But uh, either way, you can just you can just farm the final checkpoint of the game, and you'll know it. You'll be I'm not going to spoil it, but you'll be in the temple yeah. uh, where, where they go to recruit new members. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and that's where you get like ambush and the cops leave and the story and the whole thing. Uh, yeah, you can it, just go there, and then you can grind out all that stuff. The You'll probably get the 100 zombie bites or get like 80 or 90 just, just playing the game. Yep. Yeah, that's really easy to get as well. But uh, it's really, really fun, fast, and cheap. And hopefully, I'm to play it. yeah, hopefully it's the first of many more uh, of these like m like mini DLCs for this game. Because uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Because this, I think this is going to go down as one of the better games of 2012. One of the better games that sadly nobody bought. So yeah, well, it's the shadows of the damned of this year. Let's hope. Uh, let's hope it uh, it becomes like a cult favorite and grows over time. Exactly. Like my penis. Hey, dick joke. <laughs>